looking at the Russian. This is the layer eight of their winter system, clothing system, you know, kind of like our uh, Gen 1 and Gen 3 Gore-Tex system. This is not Gore-Tex, but it is a layering system, much like that to keep you warm though. And this is rated for very cold temperatures. You know, in Russia, you know, we all know that they get cold, you know, there's some Siberian stuff going on there. So anyway, this is made for something like that. So anyway, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna talk about it. Let's try it on, even though it's summertime right now. This is actually today is July 4th. Happy Independence Day, America. Um, but if you're looking at this video, you're looking for cold weather gear, this is some awesome stuff. Um, even like I said, even though it's summer, it's never too early to start thinking about cold weather gear in winter time and what you're gonna be using for winter. So let's try this on. <laughs> All right, there we go. This is it on, and this is just it by itself without all the other layers. Um, it is way too hot out here today, and it's actually even cooler today than it normally has been. It's like highs in the 80s. I'm already like burning up in this thing, and I've only had it on a couple minutes. It is very, very, very warm. And it's, it's you know, very comfortable. Um, I, have, I tried it on once when I got it, and then I just took it off. I haven't done a review on it yet. I was going to do a review, but yes, excellent, excellent. It's in the uh, Digital Flora EMR pattern. Very cool. Very good blending in. Things like that. With all the layers, this is layer eight. With all the layers that are with this, you can actually be, it's, it says, the reviews and things I've seen on it says you can actually be a static soldier or Whatever you're doing, static, we're just standing around and actually in minus 40 degree temperatures and stay warm. And that's with all the layers though. So, um, it doesn't ever get that cold here. Um, we did break record temperatures this last, earlier this year in what, February, whenever we had that big cold blast come through, we got down to like minus 24 or something like that. So, this would have been great for that even without all the layers because i mean that's a lot of bulk to put on you um but if you want to stay warm you know you're going to do it but so and a lot of those layers aren't very thick either so they're they're just multiple layers just like how we here in america our military layers things like that we have you know what three four five six layers and everything this is an eight layer system so it's kind of the same kind of deal but this is basically their answer to the Gen 3 stuff or Gen 1 stuff, except this is not a Gore-Tex jacket. This is not a waterproof jacket. Very water resistant and very waterproof type materials, but not exactly waterproof. There is a layer that does go under it that is completely waterproof, or you could probably perhaps, if it's big enough, you could put it over the top, you know but it is designed for it to go underneath. But that's just how they do it. You know, it's different than what we do, so. But as a winter suit, just out in the snow, just in the cold weather, without any rain, this will be awesome. This will be awesome. And this thing, it has a hood. Got my bootie on underneath it, but you don't have to have that on, of course. But it has a hood, got my hair sticking out, of course, should have tied it back, but it's got, right up in here, it's got pulls, so you can cinch down your hood, things like that. Let me get my hair out of the way. So yeah, it's Velcroed, got a big zipper. Two-way, two-way, uh, zippers that way you can go up or down that way you don't have to you know if you need to just take a leak or something you can just zip up that top you don't have to take your whole jacket off open it up you know um, it's got a pocket right here a little mesh pocket with a pocket on the inside with a zip so which is a pretty good size pocket
Just a mesh pocket on this side, no other zip pocket in there. Extra little bit of material for repairs. Tag, it's actually got a, uh, some, a pull tab right here on this side. That way you can kind of cinch that down around your waist like a snow flap in a way, tightens it up. That way no extra wind gets in there. Got the pockets on each side right here on your shoulders. Velcroed. Pretty good sized pockets too. And for your insignias and ranks and, and patches and things like that. So very cool, very cool. Velcroed around the wrists. Velcro right here too. It's also got these epaulets, both sides. I'm taking this off. It is getting way too hot. Let's take a look at the pants real quick. Hope you can see me in that. There are no pockets on this pants, on these pants. There's no pockets front or back. But however, you do have a zipper right here that you can access anything in your pockets. You don't even have to actually undo that if you don't want to. Right there, you can just reach in there, zip that back up. It's like that on both sides. The zipper goes all the way down too, all the way down. And actually, I think there's two zippers on it. Maybe just the one, I don't know, let's look. Nope, there's two zippers. Two zipper tabs so you can pull down or pull up and there's one right here and one all the way at the bottom i thought there was two i just put them on didn't even realize it's like this on both sides and it's like this that way you don't have to take off all your pants you can just actually undo that if you need to go to the bathroom you know so very cool very cool system very cool setup these are very comfortable. And they've got a padding in them. So they, you know, the, the jacket and the top, the pants have an extra layer of padding on the inside. So a little extra warmth layer. It is zippered right here. It is Velcroed, has a double zip right here as well. It's elastic around the waistband. It's got belt loops. And I thought somewhere like right here, there's like these right here, you can use uh, some suspenders like that. And I think there's some in the back here as well. There has to be, yeah. Yeah, there they are, I feel them right now. And then there's this extra little flap right here that you can wear down or up if you want, but wear it up, that way it keeps your, the wind, you know, and some snow or whatever from getting into your pants, getting it harder in there. So yeah, it keeps you a little bit warmer. Man, the mosquitoes are huge out here. So these are very cool. Let's take them to the table and uh, check them out closer up there. And when you get it, it all comes in this handy dandy stuff sack. That way you can put it back in there and carry it and it's all packed down to like a really small, pretty decent sized little package, you know, so pull it tight and really put it in your pack and something like that, put it somewhere and pull it out when you need it, you know, in case temperature changes on you. So that's very cool. It all comes in this nice little stuff sack, so. All right, just a little tabletop look at it. Like I said, it's got the uh, pockets here on the sleeves with the uh, Velcro hook and loop, name tags, things like that too. This actually has two pockets right here on the side. I did not mention that, pretty good sized pockets. Also, this comes, this doesn't come with it, but you, they have a set of gloves that are actually part of this system, which I'd like to get um, too. Also, that there's a little loop right here for like kind of hanging them off because it's got like a little, little uh, attachment that you can hang them off there. That way you don't lose them, you know. I just stick them in my pockets, but it has that on both sides. Like I said, it's got a Velcro adjustment on it. The hood, fully adjustable. And it's also got this right here, this little piece of 
cloth right here. It's like a little piece of fleece. It's actually fleece lined on the inside right there. So it's very soft, but like when you zip up, you're not gonna zip up your beard or your face or anything like that on it. Plus, you know how sometimes a, uh, a zipper will rub on you or rub on you wrong on your neck, underneath your chin or something like that. Well, this is like protects against that nice little, nice little feature there. But uh, let's take a look at the inside here. It's just a soft material, kind of a nylon feeling material, and it's padded. So it's got a little padding in it too, so that'll be extra to keep you warm, things like that. Reinforcements on the elbows and the arms, forearms. Uh, the back is just plain, not really much on it. Stuff like that, so the hood does have the adjustment right here, toggle. Where you can tighten that down, wrap around your head, especially good in the wind. It's got reinforcements on the knees all the way. They're like right here. There's like a reinforced area on both sides. Zipper, two-way zipper. That way you don't have to undo your pants. You just have to relieve yourself. Attachments right here, all these little loops for suspenders if you want them. And uh, got this Velcro right here. Man, mosquitoes are huge. And a little, even a little wind flap and rain flap right there, also underneath that. And it's a double zipper on both sides, like right here. There is another zipper right here. That way, I didn't have to, when I put them on, didn't have to even take my pants off. So, put them on. Just open them up, slip them on. Here's the back side of it. Uh, like I said, there is no pockets on this, but you just open it up and reach in, but it has a reinforced seat of heavier duty material and things like that. So this, these are very cool. This, what this kind of reminds me of, actually, when I first got it, kind of reminds me of an old, uh, not a, not old, but kind of a snowsuit, you know, ski suit in a way. It's thick, it's padded, it'll keep you warm. It's definitely going to, I think it's definitely going to work in wintertime for sure. So be a very cool suit so uh, and in the EMR pattern it's a great pattern I really like it I really like the EMR pattern it's very very reminiscent of Marpat in a way uh, a little bit different still but you know maybe even a mix of Marpat and Cadpat together so you know the Canadian stuff anyway very cool suit very cool um, like I said this came from Russian Cold Camo, so I'll put a link to them down below so you can check them out and check out all the specs on this that maybe I had missed. But we will definitely be taking this out in the wintertime. This is the outfit. I didn't mention, all of it has reinforced and thicker material, heavier duty material on the elbows, on the seat, um, just areas like that where, you know, you're gonna be sitting and using and leaning and things like that. So very cool, very cool suit, very quiet actually, very, it's not too loud, not too, you know, rustly. So you can kind of be stealthy if you need to. And, uh, man, like I said, it's 80, 80, 80 something degrees out here today, 88 or something like that. I'm burning up right now in this thing. So we will definitely 
test this out in winter time and we will give an update review of it and show you how good it does i'm gonna you know that'll probably you'll probably see me wear it before then but to, you know um to do a couple of uh updates on it you know but to do the full update on it to see how it does in the winter time i'll probably wait till like i don't know january february of next year 2022 that way that winter really sets in really gets cold it just depends on how the weather goes this year i mean could be in december you know to to uh, give a good good review just depends when it, i want to do it when it gets really cold you know so i want to be able to test it put some layers underneath it things like that and really take it out and and see how it performs and everything and i'll give a full update and on that like everything but if it performs like it's supposed to i mean this is what the current russian military is using and you know they make good stuff so this came from russian cold camo this is the layer eight uh, winter clothing system and i think they have a layer that goes over all of this but this that's like extreme arctic conditions it almost looks like a marshmallow suit i don't have that i won't need that i don't think uh, wouldn't be bad to have one you never know for like apocalyptic purposes you never know just to have one stashed but in normal real world situations like everyday life like we are living now and in the winter time i think this is going to do really good really good and i'm getting out of it right now man i am hot but any anyway like i said this came from russian cold camo very cool system very nice much appreciated to those guys they're a cool company right here in the united states i'll say it over and over if you like good real official russian gear that their military uses then russian cold camo that way you don't have to order from you know online on ebay or some of those other shops that might be a little suspicious and take you you know weeks months to get you, they can get this stuff to you in three or four days and they're very quick and they're very fast free shipping on their stuff great company great bunch of people and i like them i like those guys and i always said i'm gonna like keep pushing them because you know i like military gear and it doesn't have to be from our country united states russia makes good stuff there's other countries that make good stuff i want to get some other stuff too eventually one day from other countries but I'm really liking the Russian gear. I'm liking a lot of the patterns they have. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Very useful. Useful for hunting. You're an air softer. Just in general, uh, trying to be covert and not look like you're in the United States military. Things like that. So, just all kinds of camouflage options. Whatever your mind has for camouflage. So, they've got a bunch of it. So... And they even have stuff that, you know, that's available that's the same kind of patterns that we use. The Russians copy everything. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Very cool system. Very cool suit. Very hot suit, actually, so far. So, anyway, that's my video on this. Just want to let you know about it. And, like I said, never too early to think about winter gear. Because winter, if even though it's July, winter will be upon us anytime before you know it. So, keep it heavy.